talked about, you know, slimming down during the off season, being a little bit different conditioning mm -hmm. heading into camp. How, how do you feel like that has worked out for you? And and how has it translated on the field? Uh, I feel like it worked out uh, great so far. Uh, just watching the plays I had, uh, I think I had like maybe 20 snaps in two weeks, uh, getting sideline to sideline and uh, making tackles and being able to run my feet when I am get to the tackle and not, you know, dead leg tackle as in just sliding down an a offensive player. So uh, I'm, st I'm still working on it. It's, still, uh, it's not one of those things when camp break, I'll just get, I'm done with it. So it's a process I'm going to carry out throughout the year and uh, probably can give you more feedback at the uh, middle of the year, end of the year. But as of right now, I think it's going well. Coach referred to you as the big brother of the linebacker group. What are you mm -hmm. seeing from Nick Bolton and Willie Gay that gives you, um, you know, gives you hope for the Chiefs for the future? With them? Oh, yeah, they're, they're chasing improvement uh, every day and every week. And uh, from the first week they've been here to now, and they're, you know, they're making their own causes, they're relying on me less and less. So uh, I just feel like the more guys we can get to like that in the room, the better off we can be. Uh, when you have a higher level of expectations out of everybody in the room, it, it, level, it raises everybody up. So the more good guys we get in the room that work hard and good ball players, everyone play their best ball, and that's how we move forward. Because of your experience, how, how often are they like trying to pick your brain, you know, trying to learn and, and... Yeah, there's multiple times they ask me questions and things like that on the field, off the field, uh, extra time in the media, uh, in the meeting room and stuff like that. So uh, whatever I got to offer, I'm going to offer. Uh, when I was young, I had two veterans uh, above me that gave me the game. So it's only right for me to show up uh, every day, work hard, and give it back to the young guys. Anthony, uh, how important are preseason snaps to you at this point in your career? Are they mm -hmm. important, as important to you as maybe they were when you were a younger player? Uh, honestly, yes. Uh, I feel like uh, a preseason is a good way to evaluate yourself and see where you're at. Uh, everyone's at different levels. Sometimes it's to get more familiar with the scheme. Sometimes it's to get uh, better shape conditionally. Sometimes it's just just to see where you're at in, in the years you've been in the league. Uh, so for me this year, I'm taking it as uh, how much did I improve in those four to five months we had off. Uh, you know, we're going back to back Super Bowls, our, our off season has been a little shorter, but how much did I, I improved on just little things, my weight, uh, my pad level, uh, you know, just recognition, pre-snap reads and things like that. So how's that been going for you in the first two games? Uh, so far, so good, but uh, we live in a business where you have to show up every day and do it every day. You can't just do it for one week. So, uh, so far, so good. I just got to keep stacking them. So far, so good from an individual point of view, but given that performance against the Cardinals first team offense. What did you take out of that and what did your teammates take out of that to give you confidence heading into the regular season? Yeah, and uh, we played really well, but uh, at the same time, they didn't have all their starters out there. Uh, their, their best player, we all know, is uh, D-Hop. So they didn't have him out there. So I think the game would have been a little, their game plan would game, game play have been a little bit different with him out there. So I just think, uh, uh, Try to take the pros out of it, you know, and build on them. And then there's just always some things you can work on. So, uh, well, preseason, where they got some starters in, some starters are out. So it's kind of hard. We're kind of really focusing on ourselves and seeing how we're improving week to week. And then you had uh, mentioned, just to follow up on the weight thing, you had mentioned you'll be testing it throughout training camp and the preseason. So it's fair to say five, five pounds or five or six pounds lighter is, is what you're going to go heading into the regular season? Yeah, correct. Yeah. So low th 230s, 231 is what I want to play at and stay at all year long and uh, continue to work on my strength, my lower body, uh, and my core, so I don't, I don't have you know, lower body, low, lower body uh, injuries. And there was a few moments ago, Andy had mentioned that uh, he sees down the line for you a potential to possibly coach in this league. I know it's a long ways away, but it, would that be something that you would do? Uh, to be honest, I'm just focused on this year, uh, 2021, uh, Kansas City Chiefs, <laughs> and being the best linebacker I could be for this team. Oh, yeah, it's always great to uh, play in front of the fans and things like that. So uh, just being, you know, at home finally and being in front of our fans is going to be amazing. I asked Coach about improvements for this Friday's game. You all had five sacks, interception. Where do you see improvement at for the defense this game? Yeah, uh, I think uh, we missed a couple tackles, to be honest. Uh, there's a couple run fits we, we didn't fit correctly as a group. Uh, not so much as first things, second, or the threes as, as a group. Uh, and uh, and all the, the sacks, we got them, but there was, there was breakdowns on the sacks. There, there was uh, because, like, Chris got a great uh, spin uh, off the edge and got him a sack right in his lap. But there's things on the back end that we could have cleaned up, say if Chris wasn't there at that time, you know, things like that. So 
anything you can always build off anything all the good all the bad so uh spags is trust me he he, he got us honed in on today on improving anthony what do you enjoy the most when it comes to watching film whether it's of yourself or of the group as a whole yeah i just and i just enjoy like the improvement that i set out the week before for individually uh there's every week i don't go in and each week, just blindfolded, just trying to play the game. I'm always trying to improve on something. Um, and just to see it unfold on Sundays or whenever the, the game day is, it's, it's amazing. And as a, as a for a group, there's goals we, we try to attain every week. And just to see it unfold uh, on film is, is an amazing sight to see. Willie Gay said that you uh, stress communication. Mm -hmm. You and uh, both Ben Neiman. Yeah, yeah. Where are these guys at with that and you know, being able to command it? Yeah, I mean, communication is all all in uh, all your thing. So uh, it, it makes us play faster. Uh, if, if I'm saying, hey, Willie, that guy swaps back, don't worry about it, I got him. That takes, you know, half the things off his plate. You know, if a guy swaps back, you don't even got to worry about him. He can play faster on the front side. So it is like things like that, that most guys wouldn't communicate because it's no big deal, but just to free up a, a younger mind that's in the game to make him play faster, I mean, it's, it's, it's huge for our defense. When you just said this, I just Uh, for us, it's to continue tackling well in the open field. Uh, uh, this is a, a run slash boot team we're playing. Uh, Kirk Curtis is really good at the boot and stretching and things like that. And they have a good back in Delvin Cook that can stretch and cut. So uh, for us, it's going to be tackling in the open field and uh, being able to read you know, high hats, low hats versus the run uh, versus the boot looks. So we're going to be out there and, and improving today in a little bit. Anthony, do you think you are starting to see the same thing SPAC sees in year three, even before a film session, before maybe year one, where you're learning about him and he's learning about you guys as a whole? Uh, yeah, there, there's some uh, little input in that. Uh, I, I just think that the more comfortable you get with the system, then you can go off on branches and learn something else. Like, uh, to be honest, I, I actually learned the SAM position in our base this offseason. It's because I, I had the details in the mic and the, the Will Buck. So in order for me to get the complete understanding of the whole defense, uh, I went in and learned the outside backer to Sam position in our defense. So, yeah, I just think when you when you master or learn, I wouldn't say master because there's always things each week you have to like critique and move and, and adjust. But when you get the, the, the base understanding of most of the position, it's, it's better for you to branch out so you can see how it all fits together like a puzzle. So, yeah. Okay. Thanks, Hitch. Thank you. Thank you.